Figma just rolled out an amazing new prototyping feature called state management. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through how it works so you can start creating prototypes that look and feel more realistic than ever before. If you're ready, let's dive in. Here, as you can see, I designed two different application screens. On the first screen, it asks the user to choose his or her members. Here I have a few checkbox components and these are interactive components. I made them interactive in advance. And if I just preview the prototype, you can see that I can just click on each checkbox card and as you can see, it will be selected just like this. Before the state management was released, when you had such a design like this, you had two screens and the user could click on this button to be taken to the next screen. Here is what would happen. I'm going to select a few team members like this and then I'm going to hit next. Now I'm taken to the next screen and here I can select my payment method as well. Let's set it to PayPal. And now imagine you suddenly decide to get back to the previous screen and change your team members. Here is what would happen. You see that all these checkbox components are turned back to their initial states. So they are not checked anymore. And if I just hit next, as you can see, these checkboxes turn back to their initial states as well. So now let's see what the state management feature does. I'm going to select a few team members like this, and now I'm going to hit next. Here, I'm going to change my payment method to something else, maybe MasterCard. And now if I head over to the previous screen, as you can see, all these checkboxes are checked. So Figma memorizes your component states so you can easily navigate across multiple screens without returning to the initial state. It's awesome, isn't it? So it basically saves your component states. Now let me show you another example. Here, as you can see, we have a web page and I can easily scroll down like this. And imagine I want to click on this get started. If I do that, I'll be taken to the next page. And now let's say you want to get back to the previous page. Page. I'm going to click on this left arrow icon and as you can see we are at the top of the screen so it didn't save our scroll position now with the new state management feature look what happens I'm going to scroll down I'm going to click on this get a started button and if I get back to the previous screen it saved my scroll position which is another great feature. But that's not all. I'm going to show you one more feature. Here, as you can see, I have the same screen, but this time, instead of having the next button, I have the save changes button. And on the next screen, we basically have the same components, the same elements with one additional element, which is this text layer, changes saved. Let's see how it works without the state management feature. Here, I'm going to choose a few members like this and I'm going to hit save changes. Look what happens. As you can see, I've been taken to the next page and this label appeared, but it didn't share the states of my components with this second screen, which is not good. Now with the state management feature, look what happens. I'm going to choose a few team members like this. And if I hit save changes, just like that, we've been taken to the next page. However, since we have the same components, on both pages with the same names, it shared the states between these two screens, which is great. In the past, it wasn't possible, and I'm so grateful that Figma added this new prototyping feature. But there are times that you don't want Figma to save the states of your components or to save your scroll position. How can you reset that state? Let me show you how it works. Here, let's say you don't want Figma to share the states of your components across multiple screens. In that case, you just need to select your interaction in the prototype section. Here, I'm going to select this interaction. And as you can see here, we have a new section added below this animation section called state management, which has two different options, reset scroll position and reset component state. This one allows you to reset the scroll position that we will talk about later, but this one allows you to reset the component states. So if I check this checkbox like this, and if I preview my prototype once again, look what happens. I'm going to select a few members like this, hit save changes. And as you can see, all these checkboxes are unchecked. But what about the scroll position? So here I have this example. I have this get a started button connected to this second page and Figma automatically saves the scroll position. So if I want to reset the scroll position, I can simply check this checkbox. And now if I preview my prototype, look what happens. I'm going to scroll down and if I just tap this get a started button and I just get back to the previous page, as you can see, it didn't save my scroll position anymore. 
If you want to learn more about prototyping in Figma, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Figma tutorials. Have a great day and see you soon.